Just forget all that stuff you learned at school about under the spreading chestnut tree the village smithy stands. Down at Braffing in Hertfordshire, it doesn't stand any longer. It goes on wheels. When a farm horse loses a shoe, he doesn't have to limp miles to the forge. The farmer gets in touch with Mr. Bysouth, the smith, who sends along his mobile unit to carry out the shoe repairs on the spot. Soon the forge on wheels arrives at the scene, an ordinary wooden trailer equipped with everything that the farrier, Frank Crack, needs to do the job. One advantage of being a blacksmith is that you can make your own implements, and much of the equipment for this mobile smithy has been made out of scrap that would usually be left around to rust. The ordinary anvil would be much too heavy to cart around, so Mr. Bysouth has rigged up a portable tripod affair weighing only 30 pounds. The furnace is simply an old discarded water tank to which a metal funnel has been added. A few handfuls of wood shavings are enough to stoke it up and get a good old-fashioned smithy fire started. It won't be long now. The fire's well underway. The horse and his master are impatient to get the job over, for the farm work's being held up. But not for long. A few strokes of the paring knife and the hoofs ready for the shoe, now heated to a glowing red in the furnace. Now hold still, a sizzle or two, a puff of smoke, and the fitting's over. Just try standing on it, sir. Comfy? What's that? A bit rough? Don't give it a thought. A little attention with the file, and you'll feel you're walking on air. That's done. The whole job's taken less than an hour, so that farming operations haven't been held up. But the biggest attraction from the horse's point of view is that he hasn't had to stand about at the smithy waiting his turn in the shoe queue. <laughs>